Let, let me bounce this off of you, okay? You take the same statue. Mm -hmm. You say, well, you say that they're obviously black African. features, yes. thick lips, broad nose. Mm -hmm. The stereotype. But, okay, other, the stereotype. Other anthropologists say, I think Michael Cole was one of them. He says that this is not a black man. He said the people who made these statues, which I understand are eight feet high, the people who made these statues, didn't have sharp enough tools to give them white features. So they're not really black statues. They're white people carved with crude tools. What's your response to that? It's strange that the tools were not sharp enough to make narrow noses, but it was sharp enough to put eyelids. So it would seem to me that an eyelid is harder to make than a tin nose. But uh, Michael Cole is no less a racist than the head of the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, what's the difference between Michael Cole, Reagan, and the Ku Klux Klan? It is, it's have the same philosophy. What is the difference between the fellows writing the Bible and write about the Queen of Sheba asking, I mean, saying to Solomon, uh, look, uh, look not, ye daughters of Cain, look not upon me because I'm black. My parents sent me in the vineyard and that's all this nonsense. She's black because nature made her black. Her mother and father were black. That's why she's black. Had nothing to do but going in any vineyard, even though it's in the Bible. Okay, you talked about religion. We're going to get to that in a while. Let me turn to Dr. Simmons. You also agreed with this position that Africans were in this... I have no problem, no doubt. Why? As a matter of fact, speaking about, uh, like Dr. Ben mentioned, uh, and you spoke about Michael Nico, I own a book several years ago and still have it in my possession by Michael Deco himself, who is considered one of America's leading archaeologists and anthropologists from Yale, one of America's most prestigious schools. In his own work, he referred to them as Negroid. And he went farther to state the title of the book is America's first civilization, what he calls civilization. And to turn around and to tell these youngsters and other people in America in particular that the black men was the first to build any type of civilization in the Americas will be disturbing to Americans. And so... Let me ask you this. Yes. E 